spinach. Welcome to Cuisine with Jane Christine. Please go to YouTube, type in Cuisine with Jane Christine, like, share, and hit the, the notification bell, and please don't forget to subscribe. So everybody's been asking me about soup. Um, my friends that know me know that I love to make soup. This is chicken soup with little meatballs in it. Um, so I'm gonna show you real quick what I do for preparation. First, I take a, a pan. I put two um, containers of uh, chicken broth in it. I put garlic powder, black pepper, Italian seasonings in it. I let it boil with two chicken breasts, which I have partially cooked right there, right in here. Um, I only partially cook it because you don't want it to get dry. So from there, I come over here, I cut, I take a bag of the carrots and I just cut them. If they're big, I cut them um, in quarters. And then if they're nice size, I just cut them in half. Um, so you just want to make sure that you have the whole bag. You want to put the whole bag in. Um, so I cut the carrots up. I use a whole stalk of celery. I cut the celery up. Just bite sized pieces, guys. It doesn't have to be like a big thing. So I'm not going to show you the whole thing. I'm just going to show you some of the preparation. Jay's in the shower right now, so he should be coming out soon. Um, and then later on tonight, we'll do a mukbang. So I just cut bite sized pieces of the celery. I got the carrots in there, um, the celery. Just like bite sized pieces. So you just cut that all up, put it in a, in a bowl. Um, and then I use white onion. So you could use yellow onion, you could use whatever onion you like. I choose to use white because I like white. So, and it's only a piece of the onion, which I already did. And it's just little pieces, like little pieces. Um, so that's the celery, onions, and carrots. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This is the second take for this. I'm not really good with um, the camera. Jay's in the shower, like I said. So I had to stop uh, what I was doing because I actually showed you how to mix this in the other video that did not take. Anyway, so what I do for the meat, the little meatballs, and I can't add to this because I already started. I take amber, I use ground chuck. You could use the cheaper, the cheaper um, hamburger that you use is fattier, which makes the meatballs taste even better. So I just buy a little package, maybe a pound and a half. I put it in a bowl. I throw in some garlic powder, uh, Italian seasonings, black pepper, and I eyeball the Pecorino Romano cheese and then Italian breadcrumbs and mix it with an egg. Now, the more meat you use, you're gonna to wanna to use two eggs. I use a palm full of the breadcrumbs, maybe a little bit more. I can't, I, I can't even explain how much really I use, I just pour. That's just how I've always done it. So anyway, and um, mix everything in here. I already mixed it. We're making bite-sized um, meatballs. So I'm just going to show you a couple of them that I roll. So I just take a little piece like this, roll it. If it's too big, I'll cut a little piece of it off with my fingers and then just roll, roll, roll. See, this one's a little too big, so I'll squeeze a little piece off. Um, what I do next is after I get the meatballs, rolled I add all the vegetables so off camera I will continue to cut up the vegetables I add it to the water the actual broth that's cooking on the stove behind the camera I'll wait until it's pretty soft not crunchy I don't like crunchy vegetables in my soup um, once it's 
just about perfect in, 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 the, in the bite, I will add the chicken because it'll, the water will cook, will cook the rest of the chicken quickly. You don't want to put the chicken in completely um, cooked for all this period of time, like two hours to cook, because it'll be so dry and you'll want to choke on it. So you don't want to do that um, until the vegetables are really cooked good. And then I just toss the meatballs in, wait about maybe 20 minutes, and it's done. It's that easy. And this is a hearty soup. Um, so this is what we're going to eat for dinner. Um, I will boil some pasta, like ditalini is a good pasta to use for uh, your soups. You could use elbows, you could use whatever you want. You could use whatever. You could even use rice. I do it off to the side. I don't put it into the pot that I'm, I, I cook everything in. Some people like to do that. They throw their pasta right in there. I don't like to do that because not everybody wants pasta. Um, Franca, when she comes home, she always wants my soup, my homemade soup. And she doesn't eat a lot of pasta. Not all the time. It's hearty enough where you don't need um, the carbs, the additional carbs. Um, but some people like it. And this is perfect weather for soup. So yeah, so that's basically what I do. If you have any questions, you could um, put the questions in the comment section down in down below, and I will answer any of your questions. And I just wanted to say that these are the same the same way that I make these meatballs is the same way you make the meatballs for the sauce, um, except for one thing. You some people don't pan fry the meatballs first before they put it in the sauce. We do. I don't always do it though. Um, it just gives a crisp to it. And it just tastes amazing. Um, but that's the only difference. So when we come back later, you're going to see the mukbang with me and Javan eating dinner. So I hope that this explained uh, you know, or gave you some suggestions for how to make um, Italian wedding soup without the spinach. So this is the finished product and we're about to do our mukbang. So I just wanted to show you pasta. And then here's the soup. Finished product. Okay. It's so good guys. And it's so hearty. This is our dinner. Careful you don't burn your hand. Cut. Welcome once again, welcome once again. This is Cuisine with Jay. And Christine. Yeah, now you got the dynamic duo together. <laughs> It. So he's with us this time. Well, yes, yes. I was taking a shower earlier, and uh, she was uh, chopping and uh, rolling. I was chopping and rolling, mixing yeah. and scratching. Yeah, mixing and scratching. Um, what do we have? We have homemade chicken noodle soup with the meatballs. Okay, all right. It would typically be called Italian wedding soup, but. There's no spinach in it. Spinach in it, okay, all right. What if we put the spinach in it? What would it be called then? Italian wedding soup. Italian wedding soup slash chicken noodle then, right? Well, it is, that's what it is. Okay, all right, so I just, you know, I, I had to ask that question. That's fine. That's right, right. I like both of them, you know, whether it's Italian wedding or chicken noodle, and or it's this nice combination and, of both. And it's nice and hearty too. Yeah, it's very, yeah. Very like filling. Filling and stuff. What type of pot, well you did the pasta, what type of pasta you got? I used ditalini. Okay, all it's right. It's little round circles. Okay, cool, cool. We just picked that up and stuff. So, um, yeah, you know, we had to do a few running, you know, some errands and stuff. So This is uh, comfort food. Yeah, comfort food. This is comfort food. This is the time of the year that you want to have comfort food. You always want to have chicken soup on deck in case somebody gets sick. It's right, yeah, yeah. It's that, it's that season. It's, it's that the season. season. Right, right. So, uh, this is good. And, um, yeah, I love for the chicken noodle soup. Don't Italian wedding, whatever you want to call Just it. Just call it chicken soup chicken, with the meatballs. With the meatballs. Chicken noodle soup with meatballs then. Okay, that's what we're going to name it. All right. 
Uh, let's uh, do a thumbnail. Uh-huh. Okay. Don't spill it. Please. No, don't spill it. I'm just showing the camera, you know. You already showed it too, anyway. <laughs> I tried. Right, 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 right. And, um, for, me. Okay, Go ahead. Bless right. the Lord, and these are our gifts, which we are about to receive through your belly, through Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen. Remember, folks, to go to uh, type, uh, go to our YouTube, type in Cuisine with Jay and Christine, and uh, hit us with a like, a share, and hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification button. Yes. Uh, so, you know, we uh, notify when the next video comes out. Thank you. And to the, all the new subscribers, we welcome you to our family. Yes. So thank you for joining our YouTube channel. Yeah. And to the new subscribers that will be joining, thank you so much for pay paying attention to our program. And we appreciate you even being here. Right. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Because I will show you how to cook certain dishes. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. So I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. Mm -hmm. What did you have in your dish? Because I saw you had a layer of something that I don't eat. <laughs> so what I do when I put my um my soup in my bowl mm -hmm. I like to add a little bit of the grating cheese. Mm -hmm. Why is it not coming out? Because you're not supposed to add cheese to your soup. Yes you are. Anyway. So I add at the bottom of my my uh dish bowl I put I'm gonna sneeze, I think. Oh, from all the black pepper. Whew. I put a little bit of green cheese and then I put a slice of mozzarella cheese. Okay, all right, well, that's her thing. I Me, mean, I just have just a um, chicken noodle soup with the meatballs. Yes. And I didn't add any black pepper because I have enough pepper. She seasoned enough yeah. um, for me. I like a lot of pepper in Yeah, she does. Our food. And that's out of cold though, too, so. Oh, yeah. How is it, babe? Oh, good. Oh good. Mm. Yeah. You cannot go wrong with the soup. Like especially now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A little nippy out today. You know, I put an undershirt under the shirt. Because uh, the wind was phasing right through me. It's freezing. And this it's is the weather. Right this is the weather you get sick. Mm-hmm. So it's good to have soup. Right. Uh, that's it. Mm-hmm. Nothing more satisfying than when your man loves your food. Yeah, that's yeah, I do love your food. Mm. Besides you I love your food. <laughs> <laughs> you see how he corrected that? Anyway, yeah. So for all the people that's wondering what I'm drinking, uh this is uh called Apple Crisp, okay? Um, you know, like the sparkling ciders and stuff like that that they mm -hmm. have. It tastes like that with uh, five um, five calories mm -hmm. per serving. So it's just ten calories per serving. That's oh, the like, ice one. Yeah, ice ones, right, right. So they you have them at the top. Um, tops will save a lot. They usually have at uh, tops ten for a dollar, ten, ten for ten bucks. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mhm. Mm so. And I just have water. But look at the meatballs. They're so cute and they're so good. Mm -hmm. okay. Meatballs and chicken. Yeah. So like you said, it's piping hot. Just came off the stove. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how long does this normally take you to make? It really doesn't take long. Mm -hmm. It's the preparation, the chopping. Right. You know, just the chopping, like the, mm -hmm. the vegetables and making sure that you taste the broth when you're making it to right. make sure that it's not it's, bland, it's right. not bland or flavor, flavorful. Right. Okay. But I mean, all together for me, like two hours. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of chopping. Mm -hmm. This is soul food mm -hmm. because it's cooked from the from the heart yeah it is you know and growing up my mother used to make chicken soup all the time and for our birthday she would always ask us what we want for dinner mm -hmm. like every birthday she would cook something that we that was our favorite my brother and my sister would be so upset every birthday i would say mom make chicken soup 
they would want a pizza. You know, they yeah. would want something that they don't normally get. Right, right, yeah. And I'd be chicken soup, and they'd be like, The normal really? kids, yeah. But you get like lasagna or something like that. Yeah, I'm not normal. Mm -hmm. That's a shout out to Nikki and Joey. Yeah, that's, that's what normally, yeah, pizza, something like that, yeah. Chicken Me, I want right? chicken soup. Chicken soup, but yours is in February anyway, so you probably needed the chicken soup. So, mm -hmm. I, it's one of my favorites. It being cold out and stuff, mm -hmm. so yeah, it's good though. And like I said in the earlier video, mm -hmm. you don't need to even eat the pasta. Right. Yeah, this you can do without, especially keto. You know. It's that filling. You mm -hmm. got chicken. You got hamburg. Got the carrots. Little meatballs. You mm -hmm. got the carrots, the celery, the celery. and the onion, yeah. and it's just it's so filling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then you got the cheese. <laughs> I love yeah. cheese. I put cheese on everything. Yep. What she does. But um mm -hmm. after we eat today, we're gonna go to our my parents' house and bring them soup. We should bring your parents some soup. We're good. We could bring them some soup, babe. I'll just have to make some more noodles. Wanna do that? I mean, you know, we could have had a call, but I mean, yeah, I mean, that's to this. We'll talk about it after, after the video. Okay. Yeah, so we'll do that, you know. Who doesn't love soup? Yeah, soup is good. Mm-hmm. And my father likes my soup. Mmm. Nikki, she makes a bomb vegetable beef soup. Okay. It is so good. There's some things that I cannot put my hands on and, and make it. And that's one of them. She makes it better than I do. Okay. All right. Which is very, not, you know, I make better food than she does. Uh oh, sound like a challenge. To me. <laughs> <laughs> sound like a challenge. But for to me. her vegetable soup, and she told me this morning. She called me this morning, and she said, um, "I'm doing this and this and this and this and that, and I'm making a vegetable soup." I said, "You're doing what?" She goes, "Oh, nothing, nothing." <laughs> yeah, she did I said, do that. and I said, "What did you say?" And she goes, "You didn't catch that." And I said, "No." She goes, "I'm doing this, 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 and this, and I'm making vegetable soup." Mm -hmm. And I'm like, "Oh, you're making vegetable soup?" She goes, "Yes, I will make you some." Mm -mm. Something she does to it, and she's she showed me how to do it. Mm -hmm. Something she does, it's just phenomenal. Okay, so she must add a few extra things. I don't know what she does, okay. but it's so good. And the vegetables are so good. And I'm just a vegetable person. I rather eat vegetables than snacks. Like before Javan came into the picture, I know I saw his face. <laughs> before he came into the picture, it would be nothing for me to take some asparagus, put it in the oven with olive oil, little Parmesan cheese, a little pepper, sprinkle some garlic on it, mm. and I would eat that in front of the TV at night. Yeah. I think I made it a couple times for you, but he's not a big Parmesan person. No, I'm not a Parmesan guy. But... Sometimes he eats the Parmesan and he, you know, he's eating it right now because it's in the meatballs. Yeah, yeah, you know, so, I mean, I don't taste it because you can't really taste it inside the meatball. Other than that. Oh, but you would definitely taste it if you didn't, you would miss the taste if you just had the meatball without the cheese. You would okay. be able to taste the difference. Okay, all right. Mmm. Yeah. See, I'm already getting full. I just finished mine. Mm hmm God was pretty hungry here. My yeah, baby we've been was kinda, we had uh we got a lot of things that we had to do today, so um, Yeah, sweet up, look at all yeah. that cheese. Look at all look at all look at all that cheese. Mm -hmm. Hey, knock yourself out, babe. <laughs> mm hmm 
So, this is my chicken soup. Mm -hmm. Would you recommend any other type of noodles with your chicken soup? Mm. You could do elbows, you could do little shells. Mm -hmm. No, like, they look like mm -hmm. seashells. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I've seen people do it with bow ties. Yeah. You I've make it your own. You, it, I mean, just the way that I do it doesn't mean that you have to do it that way. It depends on how much you like pasta. You could do it with rice. Right. My father, he does it with uh, bow ties, and I've seen him do it with like the regular uh, curly noodles. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. yeah, yeah. Everybody does it so, different. Yeah. So, yeah. He does his own version, too. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. You could do it with orzo. Mm -hmm. um, you can make rice, and then you can just pour the soup and the broth and the noodles, or the soup over the... The rice? The rice. Because mm -hmm. you, uh, I mean, you go to a, a restaurant, you get chicken, vegetable, rice, or you get soup with... Yeah, you do. I mean, you could do whatever you want. Make it your own. This mm -hmm. is mine. And I'm sticking to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good. Well, it's good. You know, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, let the public know that you can use all the noodles, too. So, mm -hmm. you know, that'll be feel comfortable with, too. Mm. I'm full. I'll take another bite. Okay. So babe, it's shout out time. Okay. Who would you like to shout out? All right, um, I'm gonna do uh, Jeff uh, Zielinski. She's a Kalinski. That's Franca's That's husband. Franca, right. Yep. Thanks, Jeff, for watching. Watching and giving comments and stuff. Yes, we appreciate, we appreciate that. that. So, we love you guys. Yep. And be safe. Be safe down that way. Mm-hmm. That's it. So, um, Doctor One P X F N games okay yes. shout out shout to out, yes. you dr games <laughs> dr games yeah PF, uh, pxfn games right mm -hmm. all right um also to uh united masters oh what wow. yeah master lees yeah master lees mm -hmm. yeah that's united master lees it's m-a-s-t-e-r-l-y-s so united master lees shout we don't you. know all the names you know, for people that have like Instagram or everything, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we just you know want to shout out. To them. Yeah, we don't know the governments. Right. Right. <laughs> my two shout outs too mm -hmm. are my cousin Danny and his wife Kelly. What's up, Danny? So up, shout Kelly? out to you guys for watching. We appreciate yep. it. We love you guys. Yep. Appreciate the feedback. If anybody has any suggestions, drop it down in the comment section down below. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to see me cook something, put it down what you want to see me cook. I know Krista. Mm -hmm. her dog mm -hmm. she always wants to see what I'm cooking mm -hmm. so if you have any suggestions let me know right. and just let me know if you guys like these videos with me cooking and proper you know preparing for right. a meal if you like them I'll continue to do right. them but I won't know unless you tell us you got a lot of feedback to be honest with you you got a lot of feedback with the Apple one yeah a lot okay. of people love it uh, dr. Uh, one pxfn games says something about it mm -hmm. and you uh, i guess he's gonna have somebody yeah, his mother cook it or something like that and mm -hmm. make it too so yeah a lot of people are liking the cooking part yeah i got a lot of messages too so yeah, yeah mm -hmm. that, blew, that blew up so, i like doing it too yeah so it's something it's something different you preparing in the kitchen you show how, how people how to cook it yes and some of my you know associates at work like rick he was like hey you know show how you know how to do things on the stove you know i think i know how to grill but i don't know how to prepare things on the stove so i'll hook yeah, you up right right so, i will definitely hook you up this is this is this is a way of seeing what you know she does in the kitchen or what eventually i do in the kitchen or what have you what's see? his name uh rick so rick. rick if you're watching and there's something yeah. you specifically want to see me make let me know and mm. I'll teach you how to do it. Because he burns stuff on the, on the stove. Well, so I'll teach you not to burn right. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't blowing up your spot, Rick, but you know, that's what you said. So, you know, it's, it's kind of, yeah, yeah. He knows that. He's from Texas, so he knows how to grill. So, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So, all right. Nice. So, we did our shouts out and stuff. And, um, yeah. Anything else you want to add? No, I enjoy doing this. So, okay. all right. So, yeah. You know, it's just fun for me. All right. From start to finish, you saw start everything. Start to finish. Yep. All right. So, well, hey, um, I'm just trying to think of anything else. Huh? Yeah, nothing else, babe. Yeah. <laughs> this is a great, delicious dish. Thanks, babe. And uh, you guys need to, you know, get the look at the look at the look at the video and look at the recipe and stuff. And you have some stuff down below on how to mm -hmm. do different things. So yeah. And I love the fact that he loves my food. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I'm gonna love you. Oh. Hmm. All right. I love you too. <laughs> All right, babe. 
All right, well, once again, folks, uh, thank you for joining Cuisine with Jay. And Christine. All right, be safe out there. Wear your mask. Wear your mask, eat your chicken uh, noodle soup with meatballs. And wear your respirator. Wash your hands. Yeah, definitely. All right, be safe out there, folks. <laughs> Have a good night. All right, take care. Thanks. Bye. Bye.